Bran has a dream at one point where he hears his father's voice, repeating his previous words of encouragement that Bran will become a better archer with practice, and scolding John and Rob for laughing at Bran missing the bullseye. When Lady Olena Tyrell urges Sansa to tell her the truth about Joffrey Baratheon, Sansa answers her father always told the truth but he was proclaimed a traitor and Joffrey cut his head off. Sansa reveals how Joffrey forced her to look at her father's decapitated head. When Olena tells her to go on, Sansa panics and tries to take back what she said but confesses Joffrey is a monster after Olena assures her they will keep her confidence. Jojen Reed tells Bran that when he told his father that he saw Ned's execution in his visions, it was the first time he saw his father cry. Bran realizes Jojen's father is Howland Reed and tells Jojen that Howland saved Ned's life in the rebellion. Mance Raider recognizes John as Ned Stark's bastard. In their conversation, John remembers his father taught him that big men fall just as quick as little ones. In a conversation with Lady Olena, Varys states that he admired Lord Eddard, and Lady Olena retorts that Lord Stark had many admirers, none of which came to his rescue, not knowing that Varys had tried and failed to have Ned spared. Varys replies that he regrets he was unable to save Ned from execution, and that he wishes to help Sansa as a means of restitution for this failure. Theon Greyjoy, after reflecting on his betrayal of the Starks and his abandonment by his father, comes to the conclusion that Ned Stark was the closest thing to a father he ever had, realizing that his real father died in King's Landing, which he confesses to Ramsay Snow. The realization that he had betrayed Ned's memory and the only people who ever truly treated him like family moves Theon to tears. During her time with the Brotherhood Without Banners, Arya learns from Thoros of Mir that they were indirectly created by her father to bring justice to Gregor Clegane. She also learns that their leader, Beric Dondarrion, greatly admired Ned, and regrets the necessity of holding Arya for ransom. When Jaime Lannister reveals to Brienne of Tarth his true motives behind killing the Mad King, Brienne asks him why he didn't tell Ned Stark of his motives. He angrily rants that the honorable Ned Stark would never have believed him. Jamie believes that Ned judged him guilty the moment he laid eyes on him. Shortly before they are massacred at the wedding of Edmure Tully and Rosalind Frey, Rob and his wife Talisa consider naming their unborn child after Ned if it is a boy. Catelyn also reveals to Roose Bolton that at their wedding Ned forbade the traditional bedding, fearing it would be bad luck if he punched a man on their wedding night, 